I'm Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, Innovation Master, and Hospital Performance Expert, and PASS System Modeling and Simulation Manager. In a PASS position, I managed a software team that modeled and simulated rockets for our national defense. With a model and simulation, you can answer questions like, what happens if three people in a department go on vacation at the same time? Where would be the best place to add two people? Can I accommodate a bad Saturday night with an extra 30 patients? And so on. Let's discuss the advantages of modeling the flow of your hospital. I spent my electrical engineering career modeling, refining models, and simulating real world systems. I spent the last years managing a software group made up of engineers that modeled and built simulations. Your hospital is a living, breathing system. It has inputs and outputs and internal processing. Flow determines health. Determining flow and increasing flow is health. You do that through simulation. One reason to simulate is that it allows you to test the simulation at low cost relative to the real life system. Let's discuss modeling for a hospital. A hospital model is a programmed mathematical representation of the flow within the hospital. The model will include modeling of different value streams, modeling of personnel, modeling of patients, and modeling the hospital plant. When a value stream is mapped, it makes sense to capture statistical information. For instance, the average and standard deviation for time and triage or the patient health profile. The build strategy is in line with the Silicon Valley software design concept of minimum viable product, or MVP. The concept is to build, measure, learn, then repeat. We will start off with a fundamental design that creates the minimum needed to demonstrate value. The modeling and simulation must solve a real world problem. As we measure and learn, the program is augmented to move it along a path towards greater value. The MVP would take about six months to build with one software simulation engineer. It will rely heavily on the information attained while mapping value streams. The model will start off simplified and become more complex as time goes on. If the information coming in from it is deemed useful, then an effort to increase usability will be made. When you are modeling a system, it can include variability. An example could be the time to perform triage could be impacted by the individual, the complexity of the patient's malady, availability of testing, and so on. The model can be used for many things, and one of those is a Monte Carlo simulation. This is a simulation where random variation of characteristics is determined differently for every simulation. You do this when analytical modeling is too complex or nonlinear. It helps determine the capabilities of the hospital. A hospital's flow should not be too difficult to model if you have performed value streams and gathered statistical information. The model allows you to test a computer-based system as opposed to your real system. This allows you to do some things that you would not be able to do otherwise. You could apply an extreme amount of patience or predict the ability of different processes to accept increased flow. It will help figure out optimal ways to balance personnel and physical resources. It should highlight bottlenecks and will of course greatly enhance system understanding. It gives you the opportunity to perform what-if scenarios. What if five nurses were sick? Or what if the x-ray machine broke? These are things that are easy to simulate but difficult to determine in real life. Are you thinking about maybe making a big change in your hospital but don't know if it will be effective? Then model it before you make the change. I'm Jim Fitzgerald, a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, Innovation Master, and expert on hospital performance. The benefits of modeling and simulating, if done correctly, 
can be extremely powerful. Lean Six Sigma directs you to the processes whose improvement will have the greatest impact. Continuous improvement moves you forward and keeps you from backsliding. Modeling and simulation lets you explore new ideas with little pain and impressive speed. A hospital is a good system to model and simulate because changes can be grave and impacts can be unknown. The hospital is complicated enough that it is worth simulating, but not so complicated that it would take too much effort. I suspect the growth of your model will increase over time as the strength of modeling becomes known and individuals start to use it to answer questions. Contact me when you are ready to start.